Color grading is a really important step to make your CG elements come to life. Here we will add our own look and feel to our scene. Let's first open up DaVinci Resolve and here let's add a new project. And in here, let's go first to the media. Let's navigate to our EXR file, which we exported in After Effects. Here we can add our scene to the media pool. And let's go to the edit and drag it over here. And here we can preview our footage once more to check if everything is looking correctly. And you can see now the log curve is applied to this CG element as well. Let's go to our color tab here and apply our color corrections. In the color correction interface, we can add different nodes to this viewport. And in those nodes, we can co color correct and do our grading. To add a node, right click and add node, add serial. We can also do this with a shortcut, Alt S on the keyboard. And here we will apply our first color correction. Let's transform this log profile into Rec 709. To do this, let's go to effects here on the top. And here we will have an effect called uh, color space transform. Let's drag it to our first node. And here we will apply our input color space, which is the cinema gamut from Canon. There we go. Our input gamma is our log profile. So we shot this in Canon log three. We can already see our curve applied here. And now we will um, select Rec 709 for the output. If you want to learn exactly how to make VFX shots like this, I have a full masterclass available. Here I will explain every step of the workflow from start to finish. From 3D tracking the footage all the way to CGI integration along with rendering and compositing the final shot. It was a really fun process to create my first course and I hope to create more advanced and beginner courses soon. Link is in the description if you guys are interested. Get 40% off with this link or use the coupon HOLIDAYVFX. Now we have our scene transformed into Rec 709 and we can add our color grading and color corrections to this. I will add another node and here we will do our basic corrections such as contrast and saturation. Make sure your scopes are selected so you can check your blacks and your whites so it's not clipping. For example, if I clip the blacks, you can see it's on the bottom here. Make sure it's always somewhere in the center and this is not clipping. Same for the highlights. Okay, and now we will add our basic curve to add some more contrast to the scene. Don't overdo it, just a little bit. And in the saturation, here we can add more saturation if you want to but i will keep it neutral even a little bit less this is already looking much better and in here we have a neutral scene which we can add our own look to it our own grading i will rename the node so we have a better overview this one is called transform curve okay I will add another node here and this we will call our grading. There we go. What I like to do is to look at movies and see how they did their grading. For example, we have the movie Black Hawk Down. This is uh, the grading. We have like an orange and teal uh, look to it and a very green and shadows. I want to replicate this look to our final scene. To make it easier for ourselves and compare the look with our own scene, let's go to the gallery tab here and add our still frame. With our still frame selected here, we can close this tab 
And with this split icon, we can compare the two. Now we can apply our own grading and have a reference uh, still on the right side here. I'll start by adding a little bit more green and warm tones into the shadows, just like we have here. And then in the gain, I'll add more of that warm color, more towards the yellow. A good tip is to go far beyond the limit and then tone it back to see what it's doing. And the offset, I will go towards the blue, just a tight bit. And then in the curves, we will add a little bit more of that deep contrast. And to make the sky more of that green color, I will adjust the hue a bit, not too much, because this slider is very sensitive. And there we go. And then here we will add another serial node and do some final adjustments. And here I will decrease that saturation because right now it's way too saturated. And the offset will make it more of a green color, slightly towards the yellow. Let's compare it again. We can also go to our hue and saturation, then select this color. And let's decrease that saturation and hue. I will add a tiny bit of green blue in the shadows again. This is the before and after. Now this looks much more cinematic. And I'm pretty happy with this result. After all these adjustments, you should have a look that looks like this. You can see we compare the two. It's not exactly like it is in the reference because it's a totally different scene, but we try to make it as close as possible. Let's hide these adjustments for now. And let's see the before and after. We can see here we have our log profile, then we add our transform effect, then some curves adjustments, and our grading, and then our final adjustment. And here we have our final cinematic scene. Back in our editing tab in DaVinci, I added some film grain and some sound effects that really makes it realistic. Now finally, we can render out our final sequence. Let's first go back to our timeline here in the media pool and make sure this timeline setting is set to the full resolution. So in our case, it's, uh, we want to export it at 4K. Click OK, then go to the delivery. And here we can set up our final render settings. So I will set this at MP4, H.264. Make sure the resolution is at 4K. Set your in and out range. This slider will set up your in and out. This is all looking good. And then we can rename it to Apache Final. And then browse to our folder. And we need to add this to our render queue. Make sure it's 25 frames per second. Add to render queue. And then click render all. And there we go. Now it's rendering it out.